One useful feature in GoGuardian is one that I particularly like called chat. It allows me, if I'm not currently um, working on something else or teaching a student, um, I can chat with students. Also, I can turn chat on and students will be able to send me a chat and I can respond. If I'm busy, I can wait to respond until later. Um, this can be used in the classroom or even remotely. Uh, oftentimes during small group instructions, I would use this as a student. If they had to ask a question, they could uh, send this chat. So let me give you an example here. So I'm going to use, turn the chat on. As you can see, this flag right here, instead of having a line through it like it did before, let's turn it off so you can see that there's a line through it right there. If I turn chat on, this turns blue. This turns into a flag. And then I have this little chat icon right down here. If I expand this screen, you can see right here in the bottom left-hand corner, there's a chat bubble. This chat bubble floats on top of all of the windows that the student has. So they can take that chat bubble and move it if they want to by clicking and dragging. You can see that it's now in the top left-hand corner right there. Um, and so what I can do then from this screen right here, chat, this chat's on, I can say, Manual, he will get on his screen a pop up that says, Hi, Manual. If he clicks on that, he'll get a screen that says Conversations. He'll pop that out and he'll say, Oh, CD has said, Hi, Manual. And Manual can type back, Now I can see that I have a chat information right here that he has said, hi, what are you doing? And I can chat back and forth. The student can choose to close this chat window and they'll go back to the screen that they were working on before. If I chat them back and say, how are you doing today? student can open that and send a message. Now, if you see on this screen right here, it's showing this chat, but we know that he has something else open. So if I come back to this student activity tab, I can see that he has other tabs open on his computer. So if you have a student who has 40 tabs open and music going on and other things, I can come over here and I can close this tab for him if I wanted to and say, no, you shouldn't be chatting right now. And now his screen closed that out and I can close that tab for him. One other feature I can do is right down here on the bottom, I can open a new tab. If I click on this, I can type in any link that I want to. So say that I wanted to send him to ecsd.com. And now on the student's computer, his focus tab pops up and he gets a little notification that says your teacher has opened this tab on your computer. If I don't have this student focused and I'm just on my large screen with lots of other students, this bottom right hand corner chat bubble, if you click on that and expand, you'll be able to also manage your conversations from there as well. So if I click on that, I can see this chat and I can turn that on. So this could be like, because students don't have email, this could be a messaging service. You could say, I have office hours. You could leave this on anytime during the school day. The students will have that message there. And before, GoGuardian would not archive these messages, but now you'll be able to come back later when this session is done. You'll be able to come see your record of your chat with that student. Um, one other tool that I didn't talk about yet was this item right here, lock device. This was useful in the classroom. This would not be useful outside the classroom. This essentially prevents the student from browsing anything using the Chrome browser. They can still use items on the Chromebook like the camera or um, any um, apps that don't use Chrome, uh, but it would prevent them from using any of the internet things. So that 
not great to use, but if you have a student who's not following directions, that's one way of remotely locking it. I would recommend communicating with a student, um, talking with parents to try and get support with that, not using that. But if all else fails, you can click on that lock device. You can give them a message right there and it will lock the screen for them.